Welcome back everyone to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today is going to be a Tainted Andromeda run for win number 4 in episode number 240, I believe. Just 10 away from the big 250. A long time series running here. Anyways, your question for today, put your answer in the comments down below, is going to be... What kind of games did you make up when you were a kid? I asked you guys a couple days ago your favorite game as a kid. Now I want to know what kind of games you and your friends invented when you guys were also kids. Let's get started here. If I noticed, uh, by the way, seed is going to be uh, YXQSGR8X. We can go to the chest this run, Mother or Hush Delirium, I think, is, is, our, is our main path right now. But anyways, do libraries work as this character? I guess we'll find out. I saw in the comments of that video, um, a lot of people saying, like, when they were a kid, they made up you. I'm bad. I'm actually just so bad. Uh, they made up games that, that would usually involve a blindfold. Like, there was someone who said they had a game called Pillowcase. Uh, we, we shouldn't be walking into here, right? Uh, Pillowcase Pedro. I saw, like, a, a blindfold uh, hide-and-seek one. It's a very strange thing, but I think as when we were all kids, we made up games. Ooh, that's a nice looking chest down there. We used to all just make up random games uh, with, with arbitrary rules. We can actually touch that, oh my god, huge, uh, to play as kids. And it's really, really weird to me because how do we all invent these games that end up being really, really similar to each other's other games? For example, the person said they had a game called Pancho, Pancho Pedro. Where the idea was you would put... Oh, it's called Pillowcase Pedro, my bad. The the idea was you would put a pillowcase over your friend's head and then play like hide-and-seek, I think. And then, when I was a kid, we had the, the hide-and-seek in the dark with the lights off with a blindfold on game. And some of you also had a game where you put a blindfold on and then played like a, a Marco Polo hide-and-the-seek type thing. Hide-in-the-seek, hide-and-seek type thing. That's so weird to me. Like... Was it just the idea that we could adapt? So are there books in here? No, there are not books in here. Okay. The idea that we can adapt these like very simple hide-and-seek type games, tag, Marco Polo, into our own thing, is that what kind of makes the, the thing so appealing? Because um, even to this day, there was a game I played in daycare that I invented. It's, it's a pretty unique one, mind you. I'll, I'll let you know that off the bat. Um, we called it... Rarney, uh, named after the titular character Barney, and the idea it, it was essentially Rainbow Tag. Well, what's the word for this game? It's it's a game where you have like maybe let, let's say ten runners on this wall. We gotta pop this ASAP. You know what? We could do library and maybe get an early book of virtues, Lady Gatan, or a health giving book. And you don't get the library pool, <laughs> the Bible. You don't get that pool too often. So you know what? Why not? Um, where you have like 10 runners against a wall, and when you say a certain word, they have to run to the other side of the wall. Um, those may not have been the exact rules, I'm not sure. It, it, was, it was along those lines for sure. And the, the person who was tagging them had to be crawling on their hands and knees, was, was kind of the gimmick of it. So, for example, if I was, was Rarney, I would be on my hands and knees with my head down and my eyes closed. And then I would say, you know... Uh, like, words that rhyme with Rarney. I would say Barney, Larney, Carney. But when I said Rarney, all the kids had to run to the other side of the wall, and I had to, with my eyes closed and on my hands and knees, chase them down. It was like a Marco Polo rainbow tag, um, Red Rover type of game. And I'll be honest with you, man, I I'm gonna say I'm pretty proud of that invention. I think that was actually a fairly unique game for a kid uh, my age, because I was, like, maybe... Seven or eight when I made that up, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Still, I think, I think it was a very, a very fine game to be honest with you. Another crawl space, huh? Hilarious. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go look for our um, secret room now. If this key will not touch me, thank you. We're gonna go look for that because we have a lot of stuff to do right now. We could keep putting it down, obviously, in the library for a better book, but this kind of appeals to me more right now. Check it. It's not there. All right, you learn, you, you, you live and you learn, right? What about up here, though? There we go, perfect. Another crawl space. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, 100%. Okay, so now we have Missingno, which is going to roll our items every single floor, which means 
we do want to be putting them down in pools that we can re re-roll them if that makes sense so we want to do angel pools a lot you don't want to put anything down in a low quality pool is the thing so i'm gonna honestly use all of my charges this floor in the secret room i know we're not guaranteed wait did we lose missingno why is it not in our item hotbar did missingno roll itself wait oh i don't have it turned on do i there we go. Sorry, my, my settings reset for some reason after my computer crashed earlier. Oh, I'm not flying. Earlier today. Uh, but we do have a Missingno now, which is very nice. And even though it's only a 50-50 shot to get an item from that pool, the passive items in the secret room pool are usually pretty good. Mind you, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus exists and would not be very good as his character. Uh, but I think it would still be fun to fuck around with those and find out. And we'll pop the rest in the... Wow, you, you, you are, you're, you're a guy for sure. Well, we, we definitely want to prioritize planetariums as well right now. Holy shit. Okay, we have a lot going on. We got to kind of uh, focus in right now. And I think the first thing you do is put a bomb right here. Perfect. We're, oh, we're one charge off, really. Really, really, really. Ah, uh, where can I get... I can buy one thing from the shop. Because if you put it in the library, you're not going to roll anything because it's all going to be um, active items. So you really want to hunker down on these passives. And we have not gotten um, super lucky so far, which is very, very sad. But again, your charges are only valuable like per floor. We could have saved that, sure. I, it would have been a better idea to save it, I think, for the uh, next floors, whatever rooms we get. But I, I stand by my choice. I think it was still a, a good gamble there. Good luck upgrade and good money. Move on down. Just the idea of us as kids, like, taking an existing game and kind of inventing our own spin on it is a very unique concept. And we all tend to make very similar games is the weird thing, too. Like, I feel like every kid game is a, a hide-and-seek rendition, if that makes sense. Like, it's always like, okay, uh, we're going to do hide-and-seek, but you're on your hands and knees. We're going to do hide-and-seek, but you, you have your hands tied to a tree and you can't move at all. It's, it's all really weird renditions of hide and seek we can definitely check this shop out what you got for me remember don't go into your item rooms but you can buy this and spending money is not a bad thing make good habits young all right that's what i'm going to say to you there but there, there are all these weird spins on hide and seek and also tag i guess too because for like i where do these games even come from is the thing like as, as kids we don't know how to use the internet so how do we all know what tag is collectively how are we aware of the, the, the idea of tag or hide and seek? Like, is it, is it from older siblings, from parents? It's probably parents. It's actually definitely parents, I think. But the idea of these more niche games, I think. Like, I think parents definitely play tag with their kids and play hide and seek with their kids. But there are more niche ones that I think um, are, are very interesting to try and figure out where those exactly came from. Uh, for example... What about, like, Ghost in the Graveyard? I don't think any parent is playing. You're, there's frogs in this game? Oh, my God. I'm in love. Actually in love. Um, like, no parent is playing Ghost in the Graveyard with their kid. Because it's not really a game you can play with your kid and have fun. Because no adult wants to hide in the bushes while a five-year-old looks in the house for them. It's not going to not gonna work out that way. Can you just please perish? It's so hard to hit anything right now. There we go. I'm actually going to save the Bible and the go- Well, nah, do it now. Do it now. Could be an item in here there was not uh and I i'm fine leaving two cents behind right now i wanted to get one full charge for later on in the run we're at our devil deal am i going to walk in there yes and here's why because we don't gotta pay for any items we can simply just um this is gonna be a bitch of a room isn't it uh pop down our normal oh okay our, our normal items from singularity in there and still keep uh our angel deal chance at a half and half now, rolling into devil items is not the greatest thing in the world. There, there are worse things, I would say. A uh, cursed room pool is very, very not great. Um, and getting nine lives could ruin your HP situation, sure. But uh, with a trade-off being items like Brimstone, Mom's Knife, Eye of the Occult, that make uh, this character in specific really, really strong. So I'm not going to try to pick and choose between Angel and Devil. I'm just going to walk in there and pop down my item twice and see what we get. That's kind of my general plan for right now. And because we're not taking anything from there, 
uh, we will keep our angel and devil precedence at the same exact level for the rest of time, which is going to be a nice uh, equal balance to have. I do kind of want to see more angel than devil, uh, but I really can't help it if we don't do that. So you know what? Let bygones be bygones. I'm going to probably aim to also go for chest on this run, because with Miss Signo, trying to go for mother is uh, a little bit too risky. Just a, t a tad bit too risky. If you go to that, you could have the greatest run of all time on Corpse 1 and then get like Soy Milk, Dr. Fetus, uh, 9 lives on, on Corpse 2. It's really, really, really not going to be a good thing if that happens. So we're going to go in here right now. Of course, we get an active item. Fantastic. I mean, Purgatory is not bad. Hop that now, I guess. I kind of want to save the Bible. Um, and we can no longer walk back and forth between Devil and Angel doors. That, that makes a bit of sense. Let's uh, get another Bible charge and try to open up those two chests in there. I'm kind of banking. Um, oh, I want this bomb, but I'm not going to get it, am I? Go! A little too risky there, buddy. Oh, we got a bomb, but it was a troll bomb. Fantastic. Um, I'm kind of banking on the devil item giving us some kind of HP. I don't think it's allowed to happen in the current game we're playing. Okay, I can, we can actually get both rooms now because we got a battery drop there. Huge plays. We get one, two, and then I think we get three. No, we already got that. We already got that. Okay, uh, go back to here. Now, you might have actually wanted to take Book of the Dead because I could have became a devil active, but the Bible is honestly, from a utility standpoint, pretty damn good for this run. So we can do stuff like this and get absolutely trash back in return. Uh, I... I'm going to say look for your super with both your bombs left. And if you don't find it, you don't find it. And you move on down and you're happy. Now, what will our passives become next floor is my question. Okay. Uh, we do have two spooky now, which... It's an interesting one. I'm, I'm not a fan of this item. I think the item is actually very bad and a, a net negative for us right now. But the fear effect can stop some of these enemies uh, from firing at us, which is helpful. Although, as this character, you kind of don't want to mess up enemy pathing. It becomes a lot harder to hit things than it already is. It's fine. It'll be gone next floor. That's the, the glory of Missing No, though. You got a bad build? It'll be gone next floor. Don't worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Uh, but going back to our question of the day, I, I guess Rarity was kind of my claim to fame. Because when I was like 9 at the daycare, I was getting to be one of the older kids there. I think the oldest kid there was like 11, right? We pacified the goddamn room. The oldest kid there was like 11. Um, how is the... Does, do your active items not re-roll? That's really interesting. I guess I already kind of knew that, but it's still cool to see. Um, so I was becoming one of the older kids there. And I've always had like in a... In a how do you say this word? I don't want to say a fixation. But I've always been really good working with kids. And one of my dreams as a kid was to be a teacher. And I guess part of that like journey for me was if I could make an entire daycare love me as a kid, I would have no problem doing the same thing to a class when I was an adult. Ooh, thank you. Uh, we have one more charge to go back and get that soul heart, which would be very, very valuable for us. And if we get one more charge, we can walk into our cursed room, which would be very, very nice for us as well. Uh, and so I, I try to think of ways to make the kids at daycare kind of look up to me when I was younger. And I did it by a couple of reasons. Number one, for those of you who don't know uh, a lot about me and this streak, before I played Isaac, before I played pretty much any game, I was a Mario Kart Wii, like, pro. I, I entered in a lot of the online tournaments as a kid. When I was eight years old, I placed, like, third in a regional uh, online, which is very, very funny. And so my kind of method of making these kids look up to me was to show them how cool I am at Mario Kart. Doing the ultra shortcuts on Grumble Volcano. Uh, what else would I do? Coconut Mall out of bounds glitch. These kids loved that kind of shit. So I would kind of double down on being like a decently okay gamer on the Wii at daycare. And I ended up showing them how to play Smash, Kirby, uh, Mario Kart, like all these, these very simple games. And when I went back to work there when I was a bit older, that being actually like two years ago to this day, um, she still had the Wii there. And when it was like, you know, she was making lunch for the kids and I was kind of like chaperoning them, 
I turned the Wii on and I was playing Mario Kart and I, I fucking smoked those kids, alright? They suck ass at Mario Kart. But I, uh, it, it felt good to kind of be back in the groove. So, I kind of stuck with that method of, um, like, trying to make up or play games to have these kids think I'm good at games and then ergo, as a kid myself, they would think I'm a pretty cool guy and look up to me. And it worked. It did work. So, Rarney was one of them we did. Um, we I, there was no name for this game, but there was this kid at our daycare whose name was also Ben, funnily enough. Like, the, like the eighth Ben I knew in my life at that point. And he was a troublemaker, all right? Th this kid was, like, everything parents fear. He was so bad, his mom, who was one of my teachers in middle school, sent him away to boot camp when he was, like, 12. Because this kid was, like, he was that bad. And because we all didn't really like this kid, because um, whenever he was bad, it would always get us in trouble at lunchtime or recess or whatever, we didn't really like um, being around him or, or being nice to him. So we devised a plan to scare this kid straight. And you know what? For a while, this plan worked. What we would so one of the neighbors there, his name was Nolan. He was a he was an older kid. He was like 13, 14, right? And we got his help in scaring the ever-living shit out of this, like, little kid at daycare. Shoot, back up, okay. Oh, too spooky, God damn it! it the, the fuck? The pathing is, is so strange, it messes me up so much. Uh, and what we would do is we would kind of, we'd, whenever it was, like, outside time for the bigger kids after lunch, we'd all go hang out, and we'd say, Hey, Ben, why don't you go get us some water from the garage? He'd be like, okay. And while he was getting the water from the garage, we'd kind of have this elaborate setup, right, where Nolan would be behind a bush, and he would take one of us and, like, drag us away, out of sight from Ben. And the goal was to make Ben think we were all being kidnapped. And then when he would think that, he would go talk to the daycare sitter instead of the someone taking us away. And then she'd come outside and be mad at him because nothing was happening. We'd all be there sitting calmly. And, you know, looking back, that probably was a form of, like, some kind of weird child abuse. But you know what? It works, goddammit. This kid, the first time we did it, this kid went, um to the teacher, or to the teacher, the sitter, and it was like, someone came from behind the trees and like stole Joe or stole Ben or stole like Justin. And the daycare sitter, obviously very uh, scared for our safety, would come outside and see all of us just chilling, like playing on our DSs, hanging out. And she would be like, don't make up jokes. That's a very bad thing to joke about. And then that kid Ben would be kind of like, but I swear I just saw it. We probably gave that kid schizophrenia, now that I think about it. I made a mistake I was looking at. Okay, you know what? You go big or you go home, right? You go big or you go home. Now that we have the holy mantle, you want to walk in here? Okay. What are you? Knockback karma. Uh, that's actually quite good. And now we're, we're not back to normal. Shit on my balls. What do we do in this situation? Can't go in there. Uh, there could be a secret room that has combat in it, like a couple spiders, maybe? Frick. Did not. There could be a super, there could be a greed fight, but I think I would much rather... Hmm. Okay. I want to lose my, uh, let's just go fight the boss. You're not going to, you're not going to escape this hell for a while. We probably gave that kid some kind of like early onset schizophrenia. Uh, at some point in our in our efforts to scare him straight, but it did work because there was a point in time where the kid caused no mischief for, I would say maybe like a month, and that for for a kid not causing issues for a month, that's a pretty oh fuck me don't be eternal. Okay, thank you. That's a pretty big deal. You know what? That's a pretty damn big deal. That was a really really solid hit for us. This fight needs to be over ASAP. I really cannot take fighting Wormwood for much longer. With only two hits on me, that's kind of scary. And I don't want to revive his blue baby either. The rework is nice for the character, but Tainted Andromeda is still way better than blue baby in any sense of the word. Come on, go into the fire, brother. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay. You gaming? I think you're gaming. I think you're gaming right now. Kill the leech. Good job. Huge plays. There we go. All right, we got our angel deal for two charges right now. Sure. Okay, HP, and now we have lawful, which will make every item on the floor the same exact pool. I'm going to take it because if we get a really good pool, we can farm for some really good drops and make Masingno 
even better. Oh, we're gonna lose Lawful, though. Fuck. I forgot we had Missingno. Well, at least they're both Angel Deal. And I wonder if this mod pack... Or this mod itself follows the, the ancient rule of Isaac item pools. That being, if an item is spawned in a non-pool, it'll copy the pool the last item picked up. Meaning, if we start spawning random items outside of the pool, like outside of, of any special room, they may just count for angel deal items. And if that's the case, we could force an all angel deal Missingno run right now. I think it's worth a shot. I think next floor you try it on one item. Because right now you have you have Devil, Angel, Angel. And what do those roll into right now? Devil, Angel, Angel. Okay. Our plan actually... I have no faith in it right now. Because I feel like this mod is smart enough to not have that happen. But on the off chance that it is... You gotta give it a shot, right? You gotta give it a good old shot. If we could only have just saved Lawful for permanent sake, I would have been a, a happy, happy camper. Because last time we had Miss Signal, it did not turn out very well for us. We ended up having a, a really, really <laughs> bad finish. But this time should be a little bit better. I, I have faith in us right now. But yeah, that was kind of a dick move on our part. Wow, I thought we, I thought we were dead for some reason. Uh, to that kid. Uh, but to be completely fair to you guys, like he was a, a grade A piece of garbage kid there was a point where he used to just like eat dog shit off the ground and then chase us with his mouth full of dog shit like this kid was fucked up i don't want to put him on blast i don't really know i don't think he knows who i am anymore um because it's been forever but this room sucks this character is has no damage uh he was he was a weird weird kid and it, it didn't make it any better that his mom was one of my middle school teachers and this kid did not like me very much because i was also named ben and it was kind of like an infringement on his name i guess uh, and that got to a point with this kid where, uh, he would tell his mom that we're all, like, terrible, we're all lying about how bad he is and shit, and in my middle school history class, like, she singled me out a lot, like, a lot, a lot, more than you should single out a kid, it, it, it sticks with them, man, we're, we're young, we're malleable children, you can't, you can't do that shit, can you just please perish? You have been alive for years, this character just needs a small... Give me, like, a, a, a damage up per stage. Like, a, a 0.5 damage up per stage, please. Thank God. It really isn't bad. That's the thing. It's really not bad. I would have much preferred a passive there, but that could help with room clearing if we get a really bad build, because that active item will stay with us. But I don't think we have the strength to beat an Eternal Champion room right now. However, I know it would be so good to have. We'll come back to that if the rest of our floor treats us kindly. Um, the, the big thing we need to do right now is, is focus on getting just items. Like, I'm going to probably end up sacrificing for a bit on this run. Uh, just to get um, more hearts, more pennies, more drops for Singularity. Because if those do stay as angel pool items, and we don't take another pool ever again besides planetarium, obviously, we could be in a really good place. Can you just perish, dude? I'm putting my, my fires on you. You have so much HP for no good reason. We're, how are we not pacified? We're 20 minutes. Jesus Christ. That is ridiculous, man. We might need uh, Vade Retro. You just walked. Is there? Is oh, there's a path there? Okay, I just walked over thin pits. That was crazy. Okay, can you bomb me? Actually, can you bomb me and kill this fly? Throw a bomb down. Throw a bomb down. There we go. Oh, he's she's already dead. Don't don't mind me at all. Actually, okay, I'm gonna go in here. Okay, greed fight is actually huge. Greed gives you drops, and you can use those drops for very good things. Greed is. We can actually. What we want to do is not pop anything down in here, but taking intentional damage to get more coins in the ground. Might not be... Three champions. Three champions. Really. Might not be that bad of an idea. You had to throw three of these fuckers at me. Okay. We can't even kill Greed within like a minute. This is this is disappointing. This character does not really have a lot of early game strength, huh? And within all of our items we've gotten, only one of them has been a DPS upgrade, and that was... um. 
uh, rosary at the end of last floor. The rest have just been like nothing. Okay, the, the guys are all dead. Get your protection damage in there with circle. Good. Focused. That was a great fight. All right, take one. Okay, that's really, really good. And I want to see what that rolls into next floor. And this might give us another charge. I say save this for your potential angel slash devil deal later on. Why are we red now? Oh, SMB. Okay, Soul of Laz is kind of huge. I like that. That is a very nice safety call. Do we go for Vade Retro yet? I really want to. I think that would be a huge DPS increase. Um, but I also don't think we have the skill or the power to beat that. I'm, I'm going to say no right now. I will end up going back for it, I think, uh, later on in this run. But right now, I need something else. That's going to be all Eternal Champions for three or four waves, uh, depending on your, your luck. Why, are the, why is that? Oh, it's a Mimic Door. I see you. I'm going to bomb the hell out of you uh, once I walk back in here. Give me one freaking second, brother. I'm going to bomb the hell out of that door. So Mimic Doors are these weird things that the Ipecac mod adds where it's it's like a a fake door. And if you bomb that door, it brings you into a, a super secret room or a special Mimic layout with tons of stuff inside of it. Um, those can range from like 30 different chests to a bunch of money. Uh, really, it can be anything. Now, we don't want to enter... The, well, okay, here's what we're going to do here. We're popping that down right now because... We cannot re-enter that door once we enter it for the first time. So I, I really want to make sure we can take whatever's in there and get a bunch of reward. And it was a good choice we made there. We're about to get a whole lot of good stuff. Okay, Phantom Pain is fine. We're going to get another full charge out of this room in just a second here. We're also very fucking small now. Nice. Okay, thank you for that. Boss fight soon. What is that knife sound we keep making when we enter a room? Is that... Missingno doing that? I can't... Oh, maybe it's the uh, the singularity, like, black hole. Thank you, Phantom Pain, for that. I appreciate it. Okay, good. All right. That's going to be huge for our boss fight, because we're not going to be able to beat... We could pop that in the Eternal Champion Room for Vade Retro. Do I want to lose, the, like, the Bible for Flight for extra DPS, kind of? Was that me? Was that Phantom Pain or was... Oh my god, Soul of Eden? Okay. Well, here's the plan now. This goes with you. And you hopefully beat your boss without the need for the other item. Because here's the thing now. If we can keep Soul of Eden, and if our items are like really, really... Well, it doesn't really do a lot though, right? Because your items roll every single floor. Uh, It could be good for getting more drops. If we get like two... Eternal chess in the angel deal, right? That could be it. But uh, this kid was awful, as I was saying earlier. He, he ate dog shit. He would throw toys at other kids. He was, like, mean to the babies there. And it got so bad that the daycare sitter created, like, a penny system, right? Where it's, like, every time he's good for a day, a penny goes into the jar. And once he gets 100 pennies or, like, 10 pennies, he'll get, like, an extra snack at recess. Which kind of pissed the rest of us off, right? Because we were like, okay, well, we're good every day. We only get one snack. This kid gets two snacks for being bad, like, for his, the first month he was here. That's kind of fucked up. And yeah, looking back, that is fucked up. But also, it, it did make our lives a lot easier. Another angel deal. That's really, really good. Okay. Now, actually, if we want to fight you, we can Soul of Eden the key piece to get an extra item for missing no rules. That, that's a good play right there. Why well, didn't... Why, why did... The, the freaking... Okay, the pedestal right there pushed me up. I was trying to circle around, but I was already off my path. It was a very weird situation. Leave me alone. It's doing it again, dude. Oh, I missed. Hold on. That was huge. That was big. Into the fire. Into the fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Full of Eden. Scented candle. It's, it's angel. That's fine. Okay. We also gulped... How did we gulp a trinket? How did we manage to gulp a trinket? Honestly, dude, I have no clue. We're going to grab all of our drops here. And then I'm going to go and use the Soul of Eve in this room up here. And get the extra DPS from Vade. Because we're going we're gonna to need this. Okay, there the birds come. 
All right, go, 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 go. Feast on all these guys here. It actually is so good. It actually is so good. Even against this motherfucker, it's gonna be crazy. Careful. I, I want you to bounce right here. Woo! That was really good. This item is actually hella underrated. Oh my god. I don't know if it's the birds or, or Vade. Or va, va, Vaje. I don't know what it's called. But we're, we're doing some major damage right now. That is very nice. We also have a guaranteed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 angel rolls. Could be holy mantle next floor. Also very nice. Okay. Sack is good. Do that. And the dead enemies also create these, like, souls. Which create more souls in turn. And just do crazy things. Come, come this way. Come over here. Alright, now walk up. And goodbye. Last couple of guys this way. I'm gonna kill you first. I'm gonna kill you second, I guess. That's fine. Huge. You're also gonna get another item. I'll pop that down. Hemolacria. Please be angel next floor, if I'm not mistaken. Relax. That's fine. Hermit card's good. We can save a key if we want to next floor to go to our shop. Or even if we wanted to use it here to... Ooh, a crawl space. Okay, that's nice. We can go down here now. What's what's in here? A haunted chest. Not going to be. This going to be the wrong drop in there because it doesn't use the right one. That's fine. Um, do you want to go into your cursed room, teleport out, and then go to your shop? I think you do. You also could definitely go for an error room with how tiny you are, which might be the best way to exit these floors. Okay, there there is a situation of brewing in here. There is a situation. Oh, Hemolacria sucks right now. Thank God for Masigno, right? I'm not going to pop those. It's not worth my time. We were already in here. We were already in there. The only reason I'm full clearing, by the way, is we might have a planetarium hiding down there uh, with the 41% chance. So that, that, that's the only reason. I'm going to also be using a bomb to get myself out of bounds for an extra couple of drops with the, the error room later on on this floor. Okay. Okay. Another AWAS for next floor. Another item for next floor as well. Thank you for this. Uh, I, I will sacrifice one heart to... Can I get out of here without having to, like... I'm going to need to use a bomb. I'll go for one more, all right? This is the best place to do it, I think. I don't think I have... I'm going to try one more time. I think I'd be running with it. Okay, no. I think we're either not small enough yet, or we're just not fast enough. And the HP is pretty inconsequential. We do have um, what I assume to be a hopeful respawn with... with uh, What's it called? The Broken Ankh. I could also grab Soul of Laz, but that seems a bit overkill. The Awaz Rune is going to be a lot better for the, the crawl space, I think. Personally speaking. Personally speaking. But when this kid ended up, like, I guess, quote-unquote, graduating the daycare service, uh, as far as I know, he wasn't that bad in school. I never heard about him having, like, any disciplinary problems. Now, I might be entirely wrong there, but from what... So, is it... Oh, we did not roll into almost... Okay, so those do not become angel items. Noted. We have continuum number two, um, weird blue portal. We have salvation, thank God, and holy water. Okay, so this mod is actually smart, and I, I my plans did nothing. And there's a black market. Although I don't want to enter that yet. Uh, I might crash your game. Leave this room, please. I want to wait till the end of the floor deck, because that could also be a 10% chance to be an error room. Or if we bug out really fast, it could also still end up being an error room. Good HP. Also good drops. We're going to try to maximize, because we might have a planetarium on this floor. To maximize our chance at getting better items. Because right now, like, we have good range. We have the good number two continuum synergy. We have good defense with salvation. And, and attack with, with uh, Vade Retro. I'm going to try to focus on hopefully a planetarium here. Hold on. Diagonals are huge. Oh, it fires out of that thing. Interesting. I like that, though. I like that. What are you? Ooh, more drops for us. I'm not going to complain. And hopefully, if we get the planetarium on this floor, um, we can abuse that for just tons of drops. Now, Yera, please be the planetarium floor. 
It's all that I ask right now. If that is a planetarium floor with the Yara rune and the Wheel of Fortune, dude, we're going to have one hell of an experience. We're going to get hopefully every planetarium item um, within a single floor. Once again, for our like, eighth time in a row, Hinted Andromeda is kind of broken. Only wouldn't, we wouldn't have entered that very, very first item. We already have one guaranteed. But it might have happened too early. You know, maybe it's, it's a blessing in disguise to have it be on, hopefully, this floor. Because if it were to be... That was a dumb pickup. Last floor. We may have... Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. We may have uh, not had the arrow rune ready for that kind of stuff. All right. Oh, but can't you only do it once? Can't you only do it once? I think you can only put down one. No, you can do... I, honestly, I kind of forget if you can do it once or more than once. Ouch. I mean, I'll give it another try. What trinket is that? Okay, it's child's heart. That's what I thought it was. Um... I wouldn't mind giving it a try, I guess. But I don't want to waste, like, a precious charges or even the Yara rune as well. I think the strat is to get as many pickups as you can in, in one area. Yara at all. And if I, you might have to walk back and forth a little bit. It's, it's not a big deal, I think, either way. Good. Uh, but if you can maximize your planetarium... Because, like, Neptunus, man... You can do better. So wait, when, when did we have the time where we got all of them down? Was that bag of crafting? It was the reverse stars. I think you can only do it once, actually. I think it's a one-time thing, and that's it. Again, I, I'm, I, I'll i try. I will. Um, but I think it might only be a one-time thing. And in order to test it out for science, of course, I'm going to not pop the Yara rune yet. Oh, a dice room. We can also enter our item rooms now if we wanted to do that for whatever reason. You could be interesting. Okay, you are actually kind of prime right now. Uh, with the Yara rune on, the, we could put a bunch of stuff in there and then Yara it. Roll it all in the chests, maybe? Yara those chests, maybe, or something like that, and then get a, a couple more drops out of it. The problem is that they become red hearts. They're useless to us, which is which is a bad thing. Very, very bad thing. I'm probably not going to go to... We went to Beast the last two runs in a row. I'm going to go to uh, the chest path. Again, because we have Miss Signo for what could be a, a dangerous, dangerous run. Why do we have a Tinted Skull in our depths of one? That's possible. Let's give the Planetarium one more shot here. This is kind of the make or break. I'm guessing you can only do it once because it, it, the planetarium broke. And if you could do it more than once, it might be kind of OP. It might be kind of OP. What you got for me? Okay, it gives you Zodiac items. Oh, it, it's the broken planetarium pool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to not do that. What I am going to do is try to get one charge... Were you the Yara? You were. Try to get one charge before the boss fight. So if we do get an angel or devil, we can still pop a couple of things down in there. That sucks. What else can we get? Oh, we can we can stompy over this, and we're only too short now. We can pop the... Oh, yeah, we have coins. We're fine. We have coins up here. I'm not going to use the two room for much. It's not really worth my time. We're just going to hope we can get better pools again. The pools make or break this run, honestly. All right. Oh, they're eternal. That's epic, dude. We're shredding, though. It's Big Horn, Little Horn, and you? Or does Little Horn spawn the fists? Or are we spawning those fists? Oh, we have Big Horn. Big Horn is ours. My mistake. Big Horn is ours. We did get a devil deal. We have two charges ready for it. I know what you are. And you are an active I don't really care for. All right. Kind of a, a bummer floor, to be honest with you. Hey, that's five bombs. Things are looking up, I guess, for us. Five bombs. Incredible. Secret room, maybe? You know what? I no longer give 
a damn. Oh, black market, black market. I, I heard all of chat at once yelling at me. Don't forget the black market. So we're not going to forget the black market. We're going to go down there right now. Uh, but I never heard of the kid having any kind of issues in school until I heard he was in boot camp because I went back to that same daycare uh, before I moved out to kind of just like talk to the lady and see what was up with her. And um, I asked her about the kid named Ben. She's like, oh, you didn't hear? And I was like, I didn't hear what? She goes, his mom put him in boot camp in Florida. And I was like, why? And she goes, he only got worse as time went on. You know why I think it was? Because she didn't want to believe her kid was a bad kid. Because back again, is that a fool card? Oh, weird. Because uh, back when we were all kids, she repeatedly um, would deny her kid was bad. Again, like remember she used to be like, oh, you guys are lying to us, stuff like that. Uh, it, it just goes to show, man. It just goes, where the hell was our starting room? Was it over here? Oh, was it all the way up to our top right? I'm, I'm, I don't have any sense of direction right now. I'm all turned around, to be honest with you. I think it was all the way over here. Uh, and because you don't... You, I think with parenting... And I, I again, I don't know shit about parenting. I'm a 19-year-old kid who has never had any kind of responsibility his entire life besides like putting out a video every day, which is very easy. It was not what I th thought it would be. Now, that is actually interesting for next floor, so I will be taking that. Um, but if you're going to deny that your kid is a bad kid, when they are obviously being a bad kid, you're only going to encourage that behavior because there's no punishment for it, right? I, mean, I took two child development classes in high school, and I, I did a couple uh, preschool sessions, and I also worked at the daycare. I know a bit about how children think. And just basic psychology, you know? I, I understand that stuff to a, a really nice degree, I think. Uh, what a run. We have actual regular shooting back. I really want to drop Miss. If we can get a reverse stars card, this would be the floor. Even though teleport is kind of our only great item, we do have Eucharist. Oh, we have Eucharist. I would not mind keeping that forever. Um, and we also have a restock machine. For this room, to which we can put some items down, right? <laughs> That's fitting. Uh, we can pop a lot of items down in there with singularity, and then through that, re-roll them, and choose kind of a... Uh, I guess, it, we're, again, we have miss, it's not a big deal. We do have missing though, but... We could make... We're looking for HP, pretty much. We want to get defense that stays permanent, such as HP. Because um, nothing else, I think, in the game is going to... What are we... What's making that cha-ching sound? What's that sound? We don't have... Da do we, have we don't have Dad's coin. We have poker chips. Is that causing it? I don't know what half the items in this mod pack do. I'm, I'm just as lost as you guys are. So I don't know. Oh, we have Soul Locket on this floor. I don't know what the fuck is causing any of this, all right? I'll be completely straight with you. I will. I'm going to want to pop down, I think, <clears throat> one more item in there. Because I want to save a full charge for the guaranteed angel deal on this floor. So yeah, you want to prioritize getting one more item in there. Don't go too hard. If you get an arcade, you could put down more for a restock, but... Don't count just on that. Yeah, we're not losing money either. So I really don't know what's causing all this. This noise. That's pretty okay. In fact, because we already have the pay to play in that room, that wouldn't be too bad at all. So I'll, I'll take wooden cross. It's a free holy mantle per floor. That could save our run. The lag is getting a little bit intense. I'm going to always be spamming Vade Retro in case we need to. Oh, it, it's that silver ball. It, we have like a, a a pinball wizard going on. When I was a young boy, I played that silver ball. Dude, I actually, I funny story. Uh, really hilarious, great story here. Um, the band who wrote Pinball Wizard, The Who, I did see them live in concert uh, three years ago when I was a senior in high school. Three, two, two and a half years ago when I was in high school. Um, and my dad, who, who was a policeman, worked security at that concert. So I got, I got like pretty much free tickets and I got like a really good parking seat. And I'm, I'm a big fan of like, of, of older music. It's no surprise to anybody who's been on the street for more than a day. Uh, I, one of my favorite artists of all time is Billy Joel, Queen, Bowie, 
Um, I, I really like that stuff. Uh, Dion and the Belmonts as well. Get some doo-wop in there. Can't go wrong. You can't turn that down on this. Don't care about that. Where it's all going to be gone next floor. Alexa. No. Apologize, I'll take you next time, Alexa, for being mean to me on Twitter. Sorry, buddy. That's conjoined. I'll take it, sure. <laughs> oh, it's not conjoined. Hilarious. Again, I think getting HP from an item room is a pretty big ask, so I'm not going to try to force that. Uh, but I had seen Queen in concert. I had seen them when they fronted with Adam Lambert for a while on tour. And uh, I had seen quite a bit of, of cover bands. Like, or what? how would you call those? Um, the, the bands that play old songs are like like are, are meant to be replacements for older bands. Um, there's a name for those. It's not like an honor band. What the fuck are those called? I, I don't know. I saw a couple of those as well. I saw a Pink Floyd band uh, that was playing their stuff. God, what are those things called? I can't even think about it right now. The lady at H&R Block and I were talking, and she brought them up as well. So they're like fresh in my mind, but... It's gonna bother me forever. If you know in the comments, what are those things called? The the bands that just like intimidate, like um, that that imitate other bands and kind of like bring back their old music. Uh, I saw a Pink Floyd one of those. I'll call them cover bands for now. I saw a Pink Floyd cover band. I saw um two Queen cover bands. I saw a Bowie uh, cover band after he passed in, in I think 2016. I think it was somewhere around along that time. Ouch. And uh, I saw a Tom Petty one as well. I I love Tom Petty. Uh, I, I have one of his, his vinyl, and it's a very good album. But and I, I all of these bands that I had seen, e even the cover bands, were very, very faithful to the, the source and, and were... Can you, like, just despawn uh, to, to what they were trying to do? Now, The Who was a very weird exception because The Who was one of the, the older bands in this category. Like, they're, they're pushing, like, 90 soon. And they're still singing on tour and putting out even new music to this day. And... When I saw him live, the, the guitarist, like, looked like he was going to fall over. He looked very, very fragile and pale the entire show. But then this one song came on. I forget what song it was. It might have been Pinball Wizard itself. And the, the lead singer and the guitarist took the microphone and started hula hooping with it, like, around their belt. And, like, getting really active with it. And I swear to Christ, dude. Like, I, I, I think music is one of those things where... It can rejuvenate the soul and make the body really healthy for no reason because these guys who were pushing 90 were doing, like, cartwheels and, and hula hooping and shit. Like, it was insane. And to this day, I'm not a, I'm not a big Who fan, all right? I'll admit it. I'm, I, I know their hits, and that's pretty much it. But to this day, they have been one of the best live shows I've ever seen in my entire life. Just, just because they were so full of energy, even, even at that age of how old they are. It was crazy. I'm not trying to say that, that, that Brian May and Roger, Roger Taylor of Queen fame were not energetic or were not fun, but they weren't doing, like, gymnastics, all right? They, they were just being regular old musicians up there, which is nothing wrong with that, but the, the energy that The Who brought was actually just... I'm going to be one short, aren't I? I just, it was absurd. We're going chess this run. Yeah, we're going to bomb you, hopefully get one more thing for ourselves. Drop me a key when you die. Oh my god, you are so fast. You are so quick for no reason. You motherfucker. You are a motherfucker. Oh, I forgot you do this and it lasts forever too. You are such an asshole, dude. I can't do anything. We do get more drops here. Oh, that would have been good to not have that happen yet. Okay, boom. We get Immaculate Conception as well. Uh, we already fought Mega Satan, but that could bring that could be Delirium for us if we're lucky enough. Oh man, we didn't get a Zodiac item this floor, did we? Very strange. Did we also lose our Planetarium pool? Why? What? How did we lose the planetarium pool? I'm so confused. We got we got an item before it broke from there. Whatever, man. Hope and pray for next floor to have to be full of just great shit. Sacred Heart, Godhead, Spirit Sword, whatever you want to give me. Uh, and I see I see Godhead and Spirit Sword. Okay. I <laughs> I could not have called that any better, I think. Look at this shit. Um 
with how many modded items I have, that had to be like a one on one thousand guess. Maybe even like worse than that. Holy shit. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Never punished either. Now, if we can lose Masigno on this floor, I would be ecstatic. Reverse Stars card. No, you're a piece of shit. That's why. I can maybe keep... I know you can, you can still get items from deals, I'm pretty sure. But normal items just become... Or normal pedestals you would drop with Singularity just become like re regular chests. Which is good for the chest floor. But not for us right now. So, don't worry about picking things up. Just kind of go. And I will say... I do really hate Spirit Sword on this character uh, right now. It, it is not fun to try and get close to the character who has pretty much no range or or a, a very low amount of a base damage. But we'll we'll survive, I'm sure of it. I mean, it's only one floor. Then again, it's gone. The beauty of Masigno. The fucking beauty of Masigno. Uh, I don't care about him. Wait, do we have bad PhD? No, we don't. Why do we? Are we losing items? I feel like we're slowly losing items right now. I don't know why. That's a pretty good trinket. But not for us on this current part of the run here. Oh, that's Hush. There, there's our... Never mind, we're going to Hush on this run. Hopefully our, our Hush roll ends up being good. I, I would be surprised if it, if it was. But then again, we do have the chance to get a crawl space and skip the floor if it's really, really bad with the, the error room bug. And the more crawl space is mod, that, that increases the chance of there being a black market or... Um, a crawl space in general. Fuck it, let's go see what happens in this room. Just, just, just spam it. You'll do a lot of damage, trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Hey, look at that. You can't go wrong. Easy, easiest fight of my entire life. We got no deal. Oh, you can still spawn boss items. Interesting. I bet if we leave and come back, it won't work though, right? Because we do need, just in general, more items. So I wouldn't mind going back and looking at these pills and stuff on the ground. I'm not going to give up my, my my only guaranteed offense. No, thank you. Okay, we get some more money right there. We could take an intentional hit going into the curse room. Oop, almost walked into that poop right there. Uh, to break the golden heart for more stuff. And I guess I kind of already want to go in here no matter what. And we did gain stuff back. We gained a heart there. We, we gained nothing. We actually broke even, but still. It feels good to at least make an attempt for something there, you know? There's a couple more. Just a little bit more. And there it actually is. We do this. We could also Yara the chests on the floor of Hush and maybe get a bunch of drops or HP that way. As long as you don't lose your trinket and you keep your Yara rune, your Yara, your Yara, your Yara rune, you should be okay. I think I think the Hush fight is going to be pretty good here. Uh, but going back to the daycare stories, I mean, he was a rambunctious kid. There were others. There were others, sure. When I started working there as an adult, I, all, I noticed quite a bit of the... Oh, what is this fucking build? Good luck. Um, I noticed a couple of the... The newer kids that were there from that I didn't really recognize. Because there were kids that were like, were like babies when I was still going there. That were like, you know, eight or nine now that I recognize. And it's like, oh, I remember when you were a baby. But a lot of the, the newer kids that have just come there in the past like year or so. I don't know if it's just me being from a different, like, or me being older. I don't notice the, um, the, the behavior being that bad when I was a younger kid. But uh, I don't want to be like a boomer here. But... If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I just want to know, is is this next generation, are they, like, naturally just more snarky and rude than previous ones? Because I, I think it's just a me getting older thing. But the disrespect some of these kids had was kind of insane. Like, don't get me wrong. At times in my life when I was a kid, too, I was a pretty disrespectful kid as well. Oh, my God, leave me alone. I hate you guys. But to the degree that these kids were, were talking back, it, it was kind of insane. I don't think I've ever seen a group of kids be like that. And I, they think they're funny, and they're doing it all in joke when they're being disrespectful, but it, it genuinely can be really annoying. Trying to manage kids like that is very annoying. You have a good chance for a guaranteed angel deal on this floor, with the, the duality, by the way. Hey, okay. commit Sudoku for me, I appreciate that. Uh, we will... Please don't be eternal. I don't have the build for you to be eternal right now. I, I truly do not. Oh, thank God. I guess the, the tears just stay inside of you the entire time, huh? 
Okay, hold on. Use your shield. That was really dumb. Pop that. All right. We should be fine here. If I keep my shield right up front of me, I should be okay. All we got to do is stand and block, boys. All we have to do is stand and block. And the shield is making that very, very easy. Brimstone? Yep, there it is. Ain't no thing, though. Ain't no thing. And you're a goner. Please, angel deal. We do get our angel deal. We get a revive and we get another immaculate inception. Okay. Uh, we are going to go to delirium on this run, no matter what. So getting the second key piece there is not of my highest priority. All right, game. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. What's, what's, the, what's the rough build this time around? Spirit Sword is not the item you want to have. I'll tell you that much. Chariot card's huge. That um, dice shard is also really interesting because I think I'm going to be using that in this room right here already to roll everything on the ground. Is that a chaos card, though, is my question. That strength card, I kind of want to keep. Let, let's, let's play it smart here, shall we? Let's play it very smart here. I need to grab that strength card. And touch that for Bookworm as well. Okay, there it is. They're going to run in here. They're going to drop that down right here. That's going to be your kind of hush carry. Because, um, I mean, we uh, actually, our run is very good. I lied. Our run is actually fairly... I mean, we only have four damage, though. I don't know. You kind of want to get this dice shard to pop out of here. And I think you want to focus it on this. And then drag it all the way around. Okay. That was okay. It could have been way worse. What is that? Lusty blood? Actually huge. That was actually really, really good for us. I want more HP is my kind of thing right now. Do it again. That's really good. Get more stuff here too. And you obviously want to look for your crawl space if you can. Uh, I am going to try to attempt to fight Hush. But if things go bad, I do want to have a way out. I cannot upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade you. That's it, though. That's our... We, we're taking the strength card in, though. Oh, what do you do? Oh, what do you do? I'm just trying to strategize here, so g give me a quick second. I'm, ma I'm making plans, all right? I'm making plans. Crawl space. Go for the three bomber on each side. I don't know. I think we have to just fight. And I think we have we have a good chance of winning. Because we don't have to worry. I mean, I, I would rather have the black ball be our tears. Because that just quite literally is, is always going to be on top of Hush. And Spirit Sword being a melee item is going to be a bit frustrating. But it's kind of all we have. Alright, what's our damage now? I mean, we definitely aren't doing like a little... We're doing a, we're doing a lot more than I thought we would. But if we get hit, we might lose our, um, what's it called? What's that item called? Uh, Trisagion on bonus. I think it's only when we're at full HP or not been hit in a room. I'm not sure, though. I could be wrong. I forget how the item cancels, um, your extra shots coming out. It could just be a flat bonus. Again, I, I don't know. But here we go, regardless. Can I push you into it? I cannot. What's my tier rate like? Not amazing. We're, we're doing a lot of damage, though, might I add. We're doing quite a bit. Okay, 
I'm just gonna be a little bit. I'm gonna be quiet here and just try to focus. Because this fight can go wrong in a lot of ways. Good. I don't know what familiar. I don't know what that familiar was we also buffed up. I'm not sure what that was. The little black log we got a buff on from the uh, the sewing machine. Really, I don't know what that was. Huge damage there. Okay. It's still going. Now we're done. Now we're done. Great. Okay, a little bit close to a third left of Hush. No hits yet, as far as I am aware. Okay, it's on to manually dodge now. Good. Oh, watch out there. That was a tear right there. Okay, you're good. Lovely. Oh my god, there was still more, huh? You have our salvation? Oh, we're too slow. We are way too slow for this. That is not fair. That is not fair, dude. This isn't fair. What the hell? I'm not fast enough. I'm just simply not fast enough. All right, cool. You're fucked, though. Get out of here. That wave was- that last wave was complete and utter bullshit. We lived. Unlocked Soul of Andromeda. Huge. Nothing else we can really do on this floor. Yeah, no. Alright. That was good, but it is time for, for the, the Delirium run. This is a floor where your rolls really matter. Now, because of the More Crawl Spaces mod, we do have the potential to infinitely loop this floor and have... Almost no drawback in doing so. So if we do get a really bad build and you want to re-roll it, I might be inclined to do that. However, game crash? Spirit Sword, Godhead, False PhD, Rosary. Another Spirit Sword? Really? Okay. I'm looking at this right now. Time Gel does nothing for us. False PhD is good. But Spirit Sword is what worries me. Is the game going to crash or no? Okay, close program. Cancel. When did the game... It should have saved entering that floor. Hopefully. Play game. Please? But this is a build that I would want to reroll because having Godhead's, Godhead and Spirit Sword are both items that are good, but together they don't really do a lot. You don't get an aura on the sword. You don't get... Homing shots from the sword, you have to be at full HP for that. And not a lot of our other tier effects synergize well with homing yet. Um, and because we're already short range, it's... It's it's risky. Oh, don't update mods mid-run. Please don't ruin the run because of that. Please load. This is what modded Isaac is like. It takes six minutes to get the game open. But give it a minute, and we'll be okay. It did save on the void. I'm going to pause and I'll be right back when the game decides to load for me. Okay, I, I think we're back. The game decided to load this time. Um, and again, our build is really not the greatest. We do have homing tears occasionally. Occasionally. This might be a reroll, though, if we can manage that. That's that's technically a damage up. If we find the crawl space, this will be a definite reroll for me. I don't feel safe fighting Delirium on 7 damage. I'll be completely honest with you. Not really what I wanted to do. The overlay on the void floor is also... It's a bit distracting, I'll say it. It's, it's a, I know it, it's, it's thematic, but it definitely is a little bit distracting. So what do you want to do now? Well, your, your main goal is to find bombs or to just to find an AWAS rune or any way to get you a crawl, a crawl space uh, guaranteed. And I think the best way of doing that is going to be through bombing a bunch of fucking rocks, obviously. Now, we did get three crawl spaces in one room on the chest not too long ago. So that's actually pretty big DPS. We could maybe... Does not do anything for us. Just do that. Get a black heart for free there. Yeah, I, I don't feel good about fighting um, on this floor with, with this build. So if we can re-roll the run, 
I think I definitely will roll this run. I'm a bit, a bit flustered, sorry. Re re pausing the recording and starting over again is, is a very weird feeling for me. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why, but... Okay, I got hit there. Fantastic. Getting extra bombs, though. And another bomb. Oh, already we found it. Do I just leave the floor now? I mean, we do have... Okay, we have a guaranteed way to re like redo the floor here. So, yeah. Uh, we will be doing the floor over again for sure. If we have no teleport card by the time we reach our first boss room, I'll just do it over again. But I, I want to get items, because the more items we have, the better chance of getting a good roll. I mean, I guess also a bad roll could happen out of that too. But we want to we wanna take advantage of everything we can on this uh, floor while we have the shot. Looking for magic mush, mini mush, any kind of extra pedestal we can. Um, maybe finding a way to get singularity to give us a golden chest into an item. Just, just anything, really anything, honestly. Uh, and I'll be excited for it. Thank you, thank you. So far, though, we're not getting the greatest luck in the world. We're getting some good chests from Time Gal to drop, but... There's a golden chest. Gave us... Okay, we're gonna do Judgment for sure. So it is going to be... Two extra items for the future. I just... If I didn't have the sword, I think I would be fine. Going to fight, I think I'd be fine. No item from you yet. Hearts are good, though. Hearts are really good. Something, 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 something. Blank rune. I mean, I'll take it. Sure, it could be good if we want to pair throw these items. We could also get a good item to fight Delirium with on this floor. You have served us well. Goodbye. Goodbye. We could definitely find an Ayera. All right. That is definitely more valuable to me, I think. Black Bean, it's going to be a different item next floor. Take it. The Missingno Curse is real right now. The Missingno Curse is definitely real. Delirium cannot be here, so we're fine going into this fight. Um, where it has done good for us, I think. Bob's Brain, go. Double. Oh, double Bob's Brain. From what? It has done good on this run so far. But it also has taken a bit out of me. Blood Vest taking that doesn't hurt the player. It's not... I mean, it's good to have right now. I guess. Because it's going to reduce damage for us. But... Something else would have been nice. Like, I want passives, though. I really want to have passives right now. You're a bomb guy. Uh-oh. There we go. Easy. And the bombs are also nice to have for in case our next floor roll is also really bad. We can uh, redo that, too. He also cannot be here. So we can go fight this as well. It's just Triagnid? Easy. Easiest fight of my life. No, no, no active? Okay. Passive. Good. Very, very good. I'm guessing there's going to be another boss fight. Yup, right here. And he cannot be here either. Another Yera. Interesting. Okay, Eternal Blast Assist. Now I really wanted to fight. Why do we have two of every familiar? Do we have the twins somewhere that I'm not looking at on the run? Good. Okay, careful. There we go. The boss music has not stopped. We're now two. We're now one part guppy, excuse me. And now it's over. Great. What do you want to use the Yara on is my question. Now that could be him, so don't enter that room. Like, oh, that, that actually it is him. It has Delirium Boss Door. I forgot I had that mod installed, to be honest. Uh, I think I have it in the, um... I got a new backgrounds pack from my friend, the Turtle Melon. <laughs> nice. And I think he has that mod installed. Not a big deal. I wouldn't have gone on there anyways until we had a, a uh, teleport card. So, it just saves me time, honestly. It's just a time saver, really. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Show me a... a what is that? Reverse Hermit? I mean, that, that kind of is okay. Because uh, that could give us money for more Singularity drops. But I also don't think I really care enough about that. So pop speed down for the extra damage right now. That could bite you in the ass next floor, but no big deal. Right now, man, I, I am just... This is a very cool idea for a chest, by the way. Hey, look at that. Lucky sevens. Get some more stuff for yourself. Now, you, you deserve this. One more. Okay, we're not getting a lot of bombs or chests. Not a huge deal, though. Uh, 
Oh man, I, I don't know what to do. I don't. Because I, I hopefully rolling our entire build will give us the ability to fight him next floor. So I don't want to keep looping and looping until we're out of things to loop. That's my biggest fear right now. But if we have to, to keep the streak, I mean, I'm going to do it. Honestly, I'm going to. So, don't get your fucking panties in a twist. We'll, we'll, the run will eventually end, but not until I am satisfied with my run and I can, I, I can make it a good and entertaining delirium fight. That's when I'm done with this run. Nowhere sooner nor later than that point. And getting more boss rooms does help that cause, believe me, you. Plus, the more items, the higher chance of finding an item like Arky and stuff like that. And, okay, Greed's Gullet. We're going to lose a lot of money there for, for no good reason, but it happens. Boss fight could be this way. Beautiful. We probably have, I think, in my mind, uh, th three more boss rooms. Ooh, Dice Shard is very interesting. Um, I might save that for a, a... We could pop that, I guess. Take it with you to your next boss fight. If your item sucks, use it on there. If not, you can bring it back to the guppy item that was earlier on on the floor, I guess. But it's kind of a waste of everybody's time to do that, I think. We're not getting a lot of insanely good things right now, I'll be honest with you. Golden Bombs is very, very nice for finding our secret rooms, potentially. But I was kind of hoping for more out of this floor. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for a little bit more. Let's do it. Uh, oh, it's, it's Sig Monstro 2. Okay. I have that. Turtle has that mod in his pack as well. So it's on ours now. Deal with it. He's a cool looking boss though. I got to admit. He's a cool looking boss. Bye bye. Uh, that's too complicated for me. I'll take Speedball, sure. <laughs> I don't want to read all of that. It's a quality four, though, so it must be pretty good. I saw, like, it counts up souls. It has, like, tallies, but that that's not for me, man. I am a simple guy with a simple want, and that is just to beat the fucking run. I don't need this demonic talisman type shit. You gotta go, Portal. You gotta get out of here. All you do is you blew up. You explode. All right. Magic mush? Nah. Yeah, not gonna happen. Uh, our eyes are cool flashing color right now, though. That's cool. That's all I can really say right now. This run's not really going anywhere fantastic. I think I might just leave this floor if we don't find a boss. After the okay, you know what? One more fight and we'll leave. One more fight and we will leave. Nope, wrong way. Brother, I don't want to walk all the way back. I don't want to walk... We're going to leave now. I don't, I don't feel like walking back, and our blood sack can only take so many more hits before it runs out of hits to take. So, you know what, dude? We're getting the hell out of here. We're going to loop this floor around. Nice error room. Oh, there's enemies in here. Why, why, am, I, why am I teleporting around? What the fuck? That's good. What is happening? Thank you. Rolls one of your curses. Grants a curse. That's a very terrible item. Uh, I, may, I mean, it could be good next floor. So you know what? I'll take it. Why are we, why are we teleporting around? It's, I hate this. Okay. You good to leave? Go on down. Our build did roll. Uh, not a... We are really fast. No curse. It wasn't a fantastic roll. I mean, it, it, for, for sure, it's not bad. We do have a lot of tears on the screen. But I gotta be honest with you guys. Personally, I'm not satisfied yet. I'm not satisfied yet. So, let's do a couple of boss rooms, see what the floor has in stock for us, and then if nothing else, again, we'll try to find a crawl space and then and then do it again. I mean, we, we can loop as much as we need to for infinite items. We, we could breakfast the goddamn game on this run. But guess what? I'm not going to waste your time that badly. I want to, because it's funny for me, but I'm, I'm not going to waste your time that badly. I, I just want to get a run that has more than four damage would be nice. Uh, maybe maybe like five or six potentially 
you're feeling zesty, a seven wouldn't be too bad either. Oh, there's our crawl space right there, by the way. Very nice. What kind of crawl space are you, though, is the question. Okay. We are fast enough and small to get out of bounds very easily. The question is... How do you want to? Gotta be at a really precise angle for this. Are we, like, really not small enough? Hold on. Because I this this is honestly worse than our last build, I think. Do we have to be fast enough? How the hell are we not? Oh, we went out the wrong way. We, gotta, we have to go down. Okay. My mistake. My mistake. I, I forgot. Up oh, just brings you out of the room. Can we, like, put a bomb on our head? Because, like, going up worked. I know we're small enough now. It's a matter of finding the right way. I don't want to sit here for hours, but, like, this to me is kind of fun, and also I don't think we have a chance. Here, okay, actually, here's the thing. If we go up... How do I get the hell out of here? We're gonna die just doing this, aren't we? We did the trick once. Uh, okay, let's just do some more rooms here before we, we waste everybody's goddamn... We have a good salvation now, I guess. That's one thing, but... Really? This is not the run... I mean, I guess it's kind of okay. Like, we totally could, I think, beat him on this one. And we're also out of bombs for our trick. We'd have, we'd have to raw dog it to even get out of here. Potentially. Do you play it out? It may be a play it out scenario. I don't know if we have much choice. I know we did get out of bounds once, but our HP, like, it, it wasted a lot of our HP, and, and I'm not feeling super safe being anything lower than three. That's not our boss, thank God. On Zeus is actually kind of really good. We now know where this is. Explains the weird floor layout. Ain't nothing great. What the fuck is this room? I can't- Oh, the boss is so bugged. The boss is like mega- I cannot see anything. Oh, is there one or two- This is one monster, right? That sprite is, is not having a good day. That's very not great. Oh, brother. I think you do have to play it out, though, is the issue. I think you fucked up one too many times on that room. If it gets to a really bad spot, I can run my head at the wall for hours. I think having flight is the issue. Because if, if I could just fall down, I'll gain so much more speed that way. And having flights was causing me to not hit that trick, which, which sucks a lot. Uh, I, I could I could consistently hit that usually. Today is just not my day for it, huh? And you are not delirium for some reason. I thought you would be. Let's go fight you. Ah, you're fucked. Yeah, hey, you're completely fucked. Ain't no shot. Ain't no shot for you. Breath of life. How many wisps do you give me to keep? No wisps. Uh, you know what? I'd rather have Curse die and pop that in the fight to get wisps. I know that could give me Curse of the Unknown, though, which would be tragic. Oh, 
Oh, we have cursed eye, don't we? How did I not notice that? We really can't do it on this floor. There's no way Cursed Eye is going to save us in that fight, dude. It's going to make it way harder to do anything. Oh, boy. It's Red Hearts? Really? You, oh, you disgust me. That's a lot of lucky pennies. Uh, holy shit, that was... I don't know why so many of those just spawned, but okay. But I think the only way we win... I could have yared those and gotten so much luck. I think the only honest to God way we win is, is by ramming my head into that wall till something works. I don't want to waste your guys' time doing that, but to be honest, I don't have... The, the cursed eye, I lost all my faith. We get hit at one bad time in that fight. We are out of that room. Forever. So I'm not going to bomb myself. Because that could be even worse than my current idea. G give me like a minute in here. Alright. I'll figure something out. I I've done this many times before. I haven't tried it just going up exclusively. Have I? Corner, maybe? Oh, man. To be honest with you guys, I think we're completely boned. I think Cursed Eye has sealed our deal. We're going to need a black candle to make this run possible. And that is a very specific ask that I don't think um, we have the authority to ask for. Our, our best way to win the run now without killing ourselves through bombing um, is going to straight up just be through salvation and not getting an itchy nose during the fight like I am now. Okay. Our HP is getting back to a, a very nice margin. The next time you see a couple of black hearts on the ground, Yara, yeah, those please. Don't be an idiot. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Goodbye forever. There's a fly here? Get out of here. Don't touch it. You cannot afford to touch those things right now. That is very good. So we know where Delirium can't be, which means he has to be the top right row. Ay, ay, ay. If only our luck stat like did something with this build, it doesn't do shit. We have no luck based items as far as I'm aware. Good. Charges. That, that's a really good trinket, but it's not gonna give us any use right now. If we had a better active for getting wisps, sure. Watch out. Uh, do you yara this? No, you don't. You don't. It's only one heart. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna have to go like super gamer focused though. In that fight. Oh, you have to you had to be eternal. You just had to be, huh? We might be here for a second, gamers. Please don't have delirium also be like that. What are you doing? Stop beatboxing. Okay. I'm going to Yara now because we have money on the ground. And that could give us hearts and also it's, it's Lucky Penny, so it's funny. We do get one and a half there. We have more bombs we wanted to bomb ourselves to death out of just to escape this horrible run. Uh, all right. Oh, Delirium could actually be in that bottom room. Oh, th there's th I there are only two more. So there's three more rooms here. Okay. That was dumb. That was real dumb, BD1P. I think you'll end up being at full HP in the fight, though, either way. Why do you exist? Because of the fact it's not up here. Interesting. Um, that you have Blessed Penny and a lot of ways to gain HP. For example, damn. Let's go fight this room. Just Blast Assist. Not a big deal. 
You cannot control- by the way, your salvation beam is not controllable. I cannot control where that goes. I cannot. In case you're wondering. It's not under my jurisdiction. More luck? We're at 20 luck. Holy shit. Okay. Little horn is actually pretty nice. It does deal a consistent amount of damage. All right. Two more boss rooms to go. Or one more to go. Then we're at Delirium. Are you right here? You're not. Interesting. That was kind of my, my sleeper call was you being right there. Good. Not a lot of money in this room, huh? Weird. Okay. Last boss before Delirium. What do you got for me? This run is not going to go my way. More luck. We have 23.77 luck right now. Actually huge. He's insane. Hinted rock, of course. Okay, you are so close to having full HP. Devil is actually great. We do need damage really, really badly. I would love a strength card above all else, but Devil is, is still a, a flat two damage up. I cannot turn that down. Give me hearts. You are a penny-based boss. Okay. We are at full HP now. Fantastic. That gives me hope. That does give me hope. Not a lot, but it's it, because, you know, we have uh, Cursed Eye, but... That could be a an Algis, though, is the thing. If we get teleported out, that will be the play is going for that. Ah, I forgot you exist. Hey. Well. Here goes nothing. I don't think you're eternal, actually. I don't think you're actually eternal. You know what? Thank you. For once, Isaac. Watch for the eyes. Let's take it slow. You got a lot of defense, and, and you're very small. Use it to your advantage. You are definitely not eternal, or you would be a much bitchier boss already. You already are a bitchy boss, but you would be a lot worse. Nice teleporting dick. Where'd you go? There we go. Okay. I gotta shoot more. I'm just, I'm just gonna charge up and teleport it out. I just gotta shoot more. Just tap shoot. Good. Kind of just the Salvation Delirium fight here, huh? Oh, Sig Monstro's here. Look at that. Got an amazing sprite for Delirium. Holy, you, you look incredible right now. I gotta say. You know what the weights? Are we too small to be hit by... Okay, you. This, we're gonna hit directly here with no chance of survival. Because uh, that's what Mom's Foot does in this fight. Oh, not that time, though. Not that time. We're over halfway done. Good. No hits on us, so we're doing a hitless fight so far. All this craziness on the screen. In case you thought my skill was gone, we're still kicking. Oh, that's a, that's a really big map. Forgot we cannot minimize our map at all because of uh, mini-map API. A very annoying feature, to be honest with you. Dodges. Okay, there's our first hit. Ouch, second hit. No, don't do it. Please, no foot. There you are. Thank you for no foot. There you are. Ow. I'm going to stop shooting at all now. Because if we get teleported or not, we're going to lose all this progress and we're going to be so close to winning right now. I lied. I'm going to shoot right there because I'm a coward. Oh, that was very strange. Okay.
We win? We win? For the fans? For the fans? For the fans? Where'd you go, you piece of shit? Where did you go? For the fans. For the fans, shoot. For the fa There we go. Okay. We won. It was terrifying. <laughs> that, that build was not made for delirium. Only what? Four hits? That's not too bad. And we unlocked singularity for other characters. Very, very nice. Well, successful run. If you enjoyed that run and my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. Subscribe if you as well if you feel like it. If not, that's perfectly okay as well. Anyways, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.